Your freedom of association ends where my sexual preferences begin. A small town pizza shop is saying they agree with Governor Pence on the signing of the controversial Religious Freedom Restoration Act. The O'Connor family who owns Memories Pizza says they have a right to believe in their religion and protect those ideals. If a gay couple came in and wanted us to provide pizzas for their wedding, we would have to say no, says Crystal O'Connor of Memories Pizza. Oh my god, they would say no? What a shocking display of bigotry. It's a rainbow showa. Look out, HIV and rough trade. People are saying no. Who's going to Walkerton, Indiana to burn down Memories Pizza with me? Agree with Freedom of Religion Bill? That's a lifestyle they choose, ignorant. What a rational, tolerant, enlightened human being. In response to the first business in Indiana to refuse service to gay people, someone hacked their website today, and now it looks like this. And I cannot stop laughing. If American culture wasn't prone to mass hysteria, most people would look at this bullying and say that we should stop glorifying people prone to this sort of immaturity. People disagree with someone who runs a business in a town with 2,000 people and they express that disagreement by defacing that business's website. But they don't live in a state of arrested development. Nope, they're just like you and me. Relax guys, Indiana lawmakers just have that special edition of the Bible, which includes the never-before-seen passage where Jesus orders restaurants not to serve gay people, and says it's okay to send women who have miscarriages to jail for 20 years. This is the same kind of person that thinks Ronald Reagan invented crack and HIV to kill blacks and gays. The state of of Indiana's new law. Yeah, it's those bigoted backwards fundy Christians threatening to burn down businesses and hacking websites. Yeah, got it. This boycott Indiana stuff is crazy. I mean, don't these remember when Jesus turned sinners away from him? Oh, wait, he didn't. You're leaving a couple of parts out. The part where there's no forgiveness without repentance, and the part where Jesus beat the shit out of people with ropes. Indiana lawmaker just admitted no gays allowed signs are legal now. Most people can't spot a gay person just by looking at them, so there would be no way to enforce this, unless, of course, those gay people were making a very obvious display of it. If that were the case, they would be disrupting the business, so it would be perfectly justifiable to deny service. Notice that all of these boycott Indiana people are only capable of making completely unrealistic caricatures of their opposition. This is what happens when you let your kids watch too much TV. Hey Mike, give this a try, will ya? Folk might respect you more, even if you're a fucking bigot. It's almost as if this guy is admitting certain things about certain behaviors. I can't can't cite any drug addiction, child abuse, or sexual partner statistics because I'd be committing a revolutionary act. Had a really good turnout at the peaceful protest today in Indiana over the new legal discrimination law. Oh wow, you have offended me so deeply. Hey, how about you make an anti-Islam sign? Or is that too bigoted for you? Hey Indiana, what does religious liberty have to do with serving gay people food? What, when you die, is God going to be like, well, I would let you into heaven, but you served a gay guy a cheeseburger once, so it's off to hell you go? I don't think God is as petty as that. If God were to say you centered your life around wanton pleasure seeking instead of decent things, you'd stop pretending to believe in him. God isn't real when they don't want him to be real, but he somehow becomes real again when they want to push their myopic personal agenda. Blah blah blah, or your God doesn't exist, or your God exists and is a fucking asshole who really did say that shit despite making some people gay and therefore isn't worthy of worship. If some people existed in homosexually reproducing bodies, you might have a point, but no person does so you're full of shit. There is no such thing as a homosexual person, only people who engage in such behavior. And if the totality of your identity is wrapped up in that behavior, I would recommend that you reevaluate your existence.